So in today's video, I'm going to be comparing $300 running shoes to $40 running shoes. But first, I need to look online for some cheap running shoes to compare to. So for the expensive shoes, we've gone for the ASIC Keanu 30s, size 11 with some pure gel technology which softens the shock of absorption when you're running. It has reflective details, uh, so easier to see in the, in the dark and they're more comfortable on the foot, uh, more stable for the ankle, which means you won't roll your ankle as much, um, which reduces the risk of injury. Let me just purchase these, size 11. So we've just purchased the ASIC Keanu 30s. These are one of the top tier shoes. Can't wait to try them out, so let's see what, what we can do. So for the cheap shoes, we've literally just loaded up Amazon. I've typed in cheap pair of running shoes, and we're just gonna scroll through and see what we can find. Surprisingly on Amazon, there's so many shoes to choose from, but from the look of any of them, I probably wouldn't wear them to run. So let's just see what we can find. So I've been scrolling for five or 10 minutes now. I've come across these. As far as I can see, these are definitely not running shoes. They don't look that great, but we're gonna get them anyway and see what we can do in them. So the cheap shoes have just arrived, and if I'm being honest, they've not even come in a box, so I don't have much hope for them, but let's open them up and see what they look like. So they've come in a plastic bag. It's not a great sign. So this is what we've got. I'm not sure how I'm gonna open them. I better go find some scissors. Yeah, I've got no hope for these, if I'm being honest. So I found my mum's pair of scissors. Let's cut them open. Uh, at least they're sellotaped together though. That's a good thing. Here we have them. <laughs> Bash. <laughs> Jesus, terrible. Yeah, mate. So I've unflattened them now. They're quite light, which I guess is a good point, but the quality of the material on top just doesn't seem very supportive. I really hope I don't roll my ankle. Before we go out and run in these, we've decided to weigh them to see how much they weigh. I'm curious to see whether there's a performance difference due to the substantial weight difference between the two shoes. With the cheap shoes being so much lighter than the expensive shoes, I wonder if they're gonna perform differently due to the weight, let's see how much they weigh. So the expensive shoes weigh 364 grams and the cheap ones weigh 210 grams which by a difference of 140 grams. I'm surprised the expensive ones weigh this much, but I assume that's because of the, the bulky sole, which is a shock, shock absorption. I and mean, the cheap ones are quite quite light, actually. I don't think they'd be that light, but again, I don't think they have much stability in the shoes. So I think these could cause injury if she was running long distances, but we'll have to try them out. The next test we've decided to do is gonna be the blindfold test. This is basically where I'm gonna blindfold myself just so I can get a feel of the shoe. Right, so let's get going. I'm gonna blind myself. I'm going to blindfold myself now and we're going to see how the shoes feel. Okay, so now I can't see anything. I'm going to grab a shoe, try it on, and I'm going to tell you what I think of it. I don't know if this is the left or right shoe. This is definitely the wrong shoe. So my initial thoughts are quite lightweight the sole feels kind of spongy but not too much there's not really any support on the heel so yeah again there's not there's not much support on the ankle or the heel they're definitely lightweight i wouldn't feel comfortable running in these but we'll see how they go so straight away just for the lack of support i'm gonna guess these are the cheap shoes so moving on to the next pair now this is the left shoe fool me once shame on you Instantly, I can feel the difference in supporting the ankle, definitely the heel as well. And again, you just feel a lot higher up because of the shock, shock absorption gel on the base of the shoe. Definitely feels a lot more comfortable. These are definitely the most expensive. So we're off to do the running test now. Couldn't have picked a worse day for it. It's absolutely pouring down. We'll see what we can do, but let's have fun. We're five minutes away now. I'll pick the camera back up when we get there. I'm looking forward to seeing the difference between the two shoes. We've just arrived at the spot. Somehow the weather's got worse than it was before. It's gonna be a wet and windy one. I've got the expensive shoes on now. I'm gonna do a quick warm up and then we're gonna get straight into the workout. I'm gonna do 6K, 3K in each shoe. We're gonna do some sprints and see how they feel. And I'm gonna let you know my thoughts.
after the workout, these shoes feel real good. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the other shoes feel like. So let's switch them out. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, run 3K in them, see how they feel, do a couple sprints, and I'll let you guys know my thoughts. <sighs> yeah, these do not feel very good. No support whatsoever. Really hope I don't injure myself. But. So I've got the cheap shoes on now. I'm gonna smash this 3K out. The quicker I can get this done, the quicker I can get them off and back into my usual running shoes. I'm not looking forward to this at all. So I'm just coming to the end of my 3K and the cheap shoes now. I definitely feel a difference. My confidence in these is not very good. It's a lot slower than my other shoes. The stability, again, just I don't feel very comfortable in them. At the end of this video, I'll give you a breakdown of the pros and cons of each shoe. There definitely are some pros of the shoes. However, the negatives definitely outweigh these compared to the other shoe. Just finished the 6K, 3K in each of these shoes. I'm doing the sprints now. I'm in uh, cheap shoes now. I'm not looking forward to this. So let's see what they're like. So I've just finished the sprints now in the cheap shoes. I didn't actually think they were too bad. The lightweight actually kind of helped them. The only thing of problem with them, the impact on the ground was quite tough. I still wouldn't wear these. But I mean, they're better than I thought, so yeah. As a side note, if you're a runner, never buy white shoes. So I've got the expensive shoes back on now. My legs are feeling a bit tired for these sprints. Ran 12 miles this morning, just done the runs and knees, and now we're gonna do the sprints. So let's keep it going. Just finished my workout, I'm absolutely soaked. It was a good workout though, definitely would do it again. Both shoes performed well, both had their strengths and weaknesses. I'll let you know at the end of the video what I think. Just finished my workout in the cheap shoes versus the expensive shoes. I'm gonna go through two or three points for each shoe of what I think's good and what I think's bad about the shoe. I'm gonna start with the cheap shoes. So what I think's good, they're lightweight. So when I was doing those sprints, I didn't really feel them on my feet. So I definitely think that's a positive. Another positive is uh, they're quite flexible, so you can get a lot of spring off them, uh, which propels you forward. But I definitely think the cons outweigh the pros for these shoes. There's not much stability from the ankle. I definitely feel the heel is very vulnerable. You can get injured quite easy with them. And I think there's a lack of a sole, for best word to say. So the impact on the ground is quite tough. Definitely could see some potential injuries in the future or some niggles that come up. Um, so then I'm gonna move on to the shoes I currently wear now, which are the Sorconis. These are the only shoes I've ever worn, Sorconis. I think they're amazing. I have no bad words to say about them. However, obviously like everything, they have their pros and cons. The pros for these shoes is they have a plate at the sole. So when you're running, definitely gives you that added spring. There's definitely a lot more stability than the cheap shoes. I don't, I don't ever feel comfortable, uncomfortable in them. I definitely feel more confident running in them. So I definitely would recommend these Sorconis if anyone's looking for a middle price shoe. I definitely think they're worth their value. So now on to the expensive shoes. These were definitely an upgrade. Um, I, I really enjoyed running in them. However, I would definitely need a couple more runs, a couple more miles to feel comfortable in them. I think the major difference between my Sorconis and these is the sole. These soles are definitely a lot thicker. They're not plated in the middle. However, they do have the pure gel, which is shock absorbent, which I definitely felt running in them, felt more comfortable. I definitely had a bit more of spring in my step. The, the padding around the ankle is just just a lot more, you feel a lot more comfortable in them. I definitely de didn't feel like I was gonna roll my ankle. I had more confidence in my running, in my stride. So although these are a bit more expensive, 180 pounds, I definitely think they're worth the money. These are my first pair of ASICs, so I will definitely run more in them. But until then, I can't give a, a detailed enough analysis on these. But I definitely do like them and I will be running more in them. 
Thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe and turn the notifications on and down in the comments, let me know what shoes you're running in at the moment.